Hey guys, good morning. I wanted to make a quick and short video on giving you kind of a, an August update and a brief September update. But before I get into that, I pray that you guys are doing well. I hope you've enjoyed um, pretty much the week. And I know I know for, for many of us, our kids go back to school next week. I know many have already gone back. And so I pray that uh, the final days of summer are going well for you. But if uh, that has already ended for you, then I hope I hope the week went well. Uh, so on to, on to the updates. Wanted to give you guys uh, really two or three uh, just quick updates. So the first one is concerning our move. So this past Sunday, in addition to the members meeting, uh, we announced that we are officially moving to the McAllen Creative Incubator. Uh, that is also known as the, the Old Public Library, uh, the one that is on uh, Main Street. Its exact address is 601 Main Street. And so let me let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. So we're looking at physically moving to the incubator uh, in the middle of next week. And so that means that this Sunday, which I believe is uh, the 27th, this Sunday is our last Sunday at our current location, location 2700 North 10th. That is our last Sunday at this current location. And, and what I would encourage you to do today or tomorrow if you get some time is really look back at all that God did and uh, and look at what the, at look at the fact that God is not done um, working in and through His church, and so I look forward to the future. But I also look back to what God has done in, the, in our time on the the Tenth Street location. So it's going to be kind of bittersweet. Uh, but yeah, this Sunday is our last Sunday at at the Tenth Street location. Afterward, we're going to begin moving out. We've already sorted and purged out a bunch of things. And the good thing is that we don't have a lot to move, uh, but it is going to require some some muscle because all that's left is, is loading a trailer and a truck. Um, and so uh, we're thinking about doing that Wednesday. I'll post more details on that as that time nears, but we're looking at shooting for Wednesday on that. Uh, on top of that, under that same banner of us moving, um, you will have seen some changes to the building because we're headed out. Uh, namely, one of the biggest changes is that when you get to the building this Sunday, the, the Logos community sign has officially been removed. So tier on that, but, but actually Harlingen just finished removing that. They're going to put that in storage as they work through um, future buildings uh, later on for them. In addition to that, another church is coming in after we leave, and they're called Awaken Church. And so they've already put up their sign on the marquee that says that they're coming soon. So if you see that and you see the Logos community sign that's been removed, um, we're still there this Sunday. I don't want anybody confused on that. Um, they're just working through the contract that they have settled with Mr. Mr. Chapman. And so as we're headed out, they're coming in. So they're just following through uh, with all of that. So that's really the, the first announcement. The second announcement or the second update is is more of a reminder. So September uh, September 3rd, the first Sunday in September, that is our first official uh, Sunday at the incubator. So I'm really, really excited about that. We're also going to go bare bones. And what I mean by that is we're not going to knock out all the bells and whistles just yet, because if you remember from the last members meeting, um, uh, two weeks ago now, one of the things I shared was that there are three dates over the course of the next two years, um, where Sundays have been reserved by organizations that have scheduled these Sundays previous to us even approaching the incubator. And so on the 3rd, uh, we're going to go bare bones at the incubator because on the 10th, we're going to be at the old church winery. It's the building directly across the street from the incubator. It was uh, a church back in the 1910s and 20s. Uh, so it has a lot of history. But when we do go to the old church winery, again, it's only three times out of the out of the, the two years that we'll be there, or at least the two year contract that we have, out of those three times, when we do go to the Old Church Winery, we will go to two services because the building is fairly small. And so that's a 9 a.m. and a 10.30 a.m. I'll bring that up again on Sunday. I'll bring it up again on the 3rd to, to, to let everybody know. Uh, but that's just some of the hairy transitions for September. Um, and I think that's it. The last uh, update is really going to be uh, community groups. I've been really excited about community groups. We haven't really pushed as much. Uh, one, because we just started the, the fall semester. Two, we're going to begin training a couple of new leaders uh, in September. And so currently, I believe we have uh, four community groups. And by the end of September, we will have planted an additional two to three. So my hopes is to see six to seven community groups 
uh, in McAllen, Mission, and in Edinburgh uh, by before September ends. So uh, if you know anybody that's not connected to a community group or has uh, had questions on that, please, please direct them to our website, which is pretty much live. Um, we've thrown on more information on the website, so connect them to the website, send them to, to the Connect Desk on Sundays, and they will get connected to community groups, uh, whether, again, whether it's in Mission, McAllen, or in Edinburgh. So our desire is to see pockets of community where the gospel has been believed, uh, because the incubator, or any building for that matter, uh, can't go to places where these uh, groups are at. Uh, so anyway, so um, those are the three quick updates that I had for you guys. Should you have any questions, please see, send me an email. Um, I'll continue to, to update you guys, especially on Sunday in light of our move, our physical move on Wednesday to the incubator. Uh, again, I'm really excited. Um, it's been an incredible season to see God at work, to see God be so faithful and generous. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just been awesome. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I'll hook you up. Other than that, uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. We're going to find ourselves in week two of the Kingdom Come series, uh, and we're essentially looking at uh, the Kingdom Remedy, and that's the gospel, so an explicit look at, at the gospel and, and how that remedies our situation. So I uh, love you guys. I'll see you then. Bye.